Hello everybody and welcome back to the second episode of the second season of Life is Strange. So, we last left off having to give back a book um, to somebody, I forgot who, I think it was to Kate that we have to give back a book. So, oh we actually already found it uh, last episode I think at the end, but uh, it must not have saved. So let's go look for that book again, if I'm not mistaken it was left on the on the night table, on the... No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Yeah, Kate's book. So I think we actually last episode already found this, didn't we? Yeah, there it is. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Yeah, Kate yeah, yeah. needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. There we go. So let's move Be that gone, glass Alice first. Drink. Um take that book. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Books don't really get that sneaky, but uh, apparently they I'm could. I'm going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Yeah, go Thunderbirds. Uh, let's go and look for Kate's. Oh, a timetable. Would that be important? Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Ooh. Poor thing. So, what day are we today? I have no idea. I'm a student. Students never know what... It is, I need to get do they? dressed before I go there. Ugh, need to get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Yeah, but he invented relativity theory. I mean... Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. You can maybe As rewind time, but you don't understand time. Do I you? I do have all the time in the world now. All of, you actually do have all the time in the world. Uh, where's Kate's room? Oh, have a... Keep your smart mind shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Uh, I think I know who that's from. From... is that gonna be from... Uh, I'm guessing from... what's her name? Uh, that mean girl. Chloe to... Don't get high like in my room, okay? Meet me for dinner. Okay, it looks like we might have missed a couple of appoint appointments. Um, with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. It's so like no cool. time has passed. Where's, uh, where's Kate's room? I think, was it over here? Stomping Bigfoots? Nope. Was it here? Uh, is this Kate? No, Stella. Taylor. Where's Kate? Brooke. Juliet. Who's this? Julia? Dana. Hmm. Kate. Kate seems to have gone gone missing. Or is there any more? Are there any more rooms here? Brooke? No, no, nothing. Uh, no rooms here. Uh, where's? Oh, oh, how? How could we have missed that? There we go. Kate, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Hmm. Pretty dark. You'd get depressed for less, you know. Get some light in there, Jeebus. Violin? Ooh. Let's just talk to Kate. Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Hmm. Well, I just hate bullies. I... Who had... Of course he had a choice. I just hate him. Hate I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, 
I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What's the Vortex Club? What about the video? Video? Did you party with them? Why? I I have no idea what's going on, so let's ask why. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have oh, no Oh, day trade. That doesn't sound like you, definitely. I mean, I'm guessing somebody put something in her drink that uh, made her susceptible to certain things. So that doesn't sound like you, does it? Doesn't it doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine and then I drank water. Hmm, not enough to get wasted, definitely not. So, yeah, pro tip to all you young girls and guys out there as well. Never leave your drinks unp unprotected in a club or at a party. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted, ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? Mm -hmm. I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? What? Is, isn't that the douche who uh, tried to punch uh, our friend earlier on? I don't know. Let's see. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? What? What's happening here? What happened to that girl? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate. We'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Hmm. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Something weird is going on. Some some people did something. Bag, book. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Hmm. Should she go to the police? Go to the police, right? Or should we, I mean, go to the police. We can still look for proof, no? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Oh. Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. 
Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Maybe we should look for some evidence first. I don't know. <laughs> Time hmm. out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the yeah, police. Let, let's the turn place. back. Yeah, After let's turn it. back. Oh, what was Scary that? Text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, let's uh, do that again. Let's uh, let's say look for proof this time. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. Mm -hmm. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Well... Maybe this is a bit harder than uh, telling her to go to the police, but at least it's the correct job, answer, I think. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yeah, you can't just go around accusing her. For all we know, she's like a, a patholog pathological liar. I don't know. I, you know, I'm, I'm sure Max knows her better than, than I do, but we don't know that for sure let's take this cloth away she needs to look at herself every once Why in a did while she cover up the mirror she can't look at herself yeah it does look like that um so do we need anything else from this room oh rabbits is it still alive though that is the cutest bunny ever i bet katie's a good mom i wouldn't be too sure about that letter let's take a look at this ouch she left out amnation. Okay. Nothing that important. Okay, let's uh, head back out and go question some people. And hopefully get some more answers. Let's get over to Victoria. She seemed to be tied into this one way or another. What's this all about? Axe, food, two whales, see you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Okay. Uh, that was interesting. Where's Victoria? Is this one of these girls, Victoria? Nope, nope. I think uh, I remember seeing her name somewhere. Stella's room. Taylor's room. Juliet's room. Where's Victoria? Uh, this was Kate's room, right? Yeah, yeah. Victoria's room. Okay, let's see if she's in. Wouldn't Fine, look like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't want to disturb her. Um, so, I think we're actually out of time. Let me check here. Yeah, we're about at that time. So, let's head over to... Uh, what's our friend's name again? Um... How do I get... Oh yeah, SMS. Let's get over to our friend Chloe. Where was it? Two whales or something? Uh, two whales. Food, two whales. Okay, let's see if we can uh, find Chloe. Left mouse. Okay. Oh, okay, I thought this was going to be some kind of movie moment, but it isn't. Scaffolding, look. No, we've done that. Ah, oh. Samuel looks like a gentle soul. Let's hey see what Samuel. he has to say. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Animals, the, like 
the conversation like animals snow talk later like what do they mean animals okay let's let's say animals what what does this mean are we what are we gonna talk about just animals that's one thing i truly love about arcadia bay it's all those cool animals in the forest and the squirrels always come in the morning for food i can hear them whisper okay what animals do you see in the forest I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> um. Okay, so he might I either. I don't to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay, so he might either be gentle soul or a serial killer. Killer, I have no idea. Um, so let's go over to two whales and see about our friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Oh, this is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications you're not first student at blackwell to try this i hope you're the last consider this a final polite warning oh okay max it's over here what well, was that you warren what are you doing here oh nothing waiting oh. for a call he is messed I mean, I up the call Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Uh, what I... Oh, was that the guy that got beat down by Nate? That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome yeah even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl she's pretty punk rock yeah that was a pretty you know dick move wasn't it we kind of just took off and left them to be beat up there uh just a pirate chloe price she's our friend an old friend chloe price we haven't seen each other in a while i bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star <laughs> which begs the question why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Hmm, indeed so. Uh, should we tell this guy? Uh, let's, I don't know. Let's, uh, I don't, on one hand, I'm like, you know, we shouldn't get this guy involved. He doesn't know everything and maybe he doesn't even have really any business with it. Though, on the other hand, Nathan kind of just went ape on him yesterday for, you know, no good reason. So let, let's get him involved or, uh, I don't know. We can still rewind. Let's say I, I busted, busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape. Hmm. Planet. Do we want to go there? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. I'll text you the info. Cool. Okay, so that's actually all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you next episode. Bye now.